Okay, well, so process theology, philosophy, again, I want to emphasize the fact that it's diverse, holds not simply to ultimate reality, but ultimate actuality. Ultimate reality in Whitehead's thought is creativity. It's the creative advance into novelty, and it is ultimate. But the wonderful thing he says, uh, somewhat like Aristotle's prime matter, is that creativity is nothing except in its embodiments. And so in addition to ultimate reality of creativity, there is the ultimate actuality of God. These are two ultimates, if you want. They are inseparably related and embody each other. But one is a, kind of an action, a process, the, pardon, the, pardon the pun, uh, and the other is, is, is a substance. I mean, there, there is differences between action and substances. Right, but the, rela- the, the ranking of f- inferior and, uh, uh, or better or worse between them doesn't make sense when the relationship is one of mutual imminence. They live through each other. They're each requiring of the other for their own being. And, and creativity is not an entity. It's not a being. It is a formless process. But, but it has to operate on something. It operates in and through actuality. And God is the primordial uh, character shaping creativity. So, so again, there's not, a, there's not a ranking between them, but a mutuality. So I'm just trying to get my category. So one category of God is this ultimate substance. And then I have creativity, which is a very nice idea. And maybe value or good, which we talked about earlier, as, as idea processes. Um, but they have to work on something. So there has to be some other substance there in addition to God, where God can do the creativity. And so is that substance also a non-reducible category? Right. Yes. And we're not going to lose, use the language of substance. Uh, process thinkers despise that language. <laughs> in part, that's what they combat against. But yes, so in addition to creativity as the ultimate reality, in addition to God as the ultimate actuality, there are actual entities. So this is a third category of ultimate being. And these are events that happen and that continually happen as embodiments of creativity. And in addition, we must add the fourth and final, at least for Whitehead, which is eternal objects. These are these platonic-like forms, okay, not platonic in the in totally in Plato's sense, but that they're forms of definiteness, they are possibilities for actualization that are really there. And it's the confluence and the entanglement of these four dimensions of creativity, of God, of actual entities, of possibility, uh, that is the metaphysical grounds of the world that we experience.